AJ here from the Carry Group. It's Tuesday, the 4th of June, 4.30. So it's day seven of Drupa. We've had thousands of customers through the stand. I wanted to introduce you to Tim Steffel, the product category manager of our B2 presses from the USA. Welcome, Tim. Thank you. Hi, guys. Uh, Tim, we're going to learn a little bit about some of the amazing things on this press, but behind us I think we're going to see something that no other press does. Could you explain a little bit about it, please? Yeah, so Lulu, go ahead and do that for, uh, for us now. What we're going to show you guys is something we call automatic pallet replacement. This is the HP Indigo 120K. We've asked the press to give us the pallet. The pallet drops to the floor, gives us the whistle. The sheets are going to come out in the stack pushes forward. If you'll notice, there's a pallet right behind it ready to go. And that pallet's going to raise back into position. This pallet's going to stay here. And the whole process takes, depending on the height of the pallet, it's going to take about maybe 45 seconds at the most. That pallet raises into position and the press is ready to go back to printing. This can actually go off to finishing now. And the beautiful thing about this is we've got this all automated showing here at the show. The AMR robots from Movijo will come and pick up that pallet, take it to finishing, and do that all automatically. How great is that for non-stop printing? One pallet in, another pallet out, and you continue to print. Tim, we're just going to walk up the press, and we just want you to stop in front of the press engine and tell us two or three things you love about the press engine on the HP Indigo 120. This way, Tim, please. Yeah, so come on. Hi guys, excuse us. All right, so the 120K is based on the original press of the 100K style. What that means is 30% faster than any other press we've ever manufactured. What the 120K changes for us is ease of use, higher levels of reliability, and lower total cost of ownership. Now, how's that mean for higher and ease of, uh, ease of use? Ease of use through an easier uh, user interface, the reliability of the parts and the components inside the press, meaning less maintenance or easier to do maintenance, and lower total cost of ownership is a new print mode we call eco mode. And that eco mode basically is a lower saturation level at about a 15% reduction in cost. So that's the 120K in a nutshell. Fabulous update there, Tim. And we want to go to uh, the big the front of the press where we load in the beautiful substrates and talk about the range and talk about the capacity of what, how much stock we can put in the press. So let's continue on down. Come on up. So as you can see, Tim's going to talk in detail, but I can do this part, it's easy. Count, one, two, three, four, trays, and then a high pile feeder at the end. So the minimum you do is three inputs, but this press, we've got five inputs. What's special about the trays, Tim? Yeah, so what we have here is we've got the pallet feeder at the back. We've got four drawers in the system. This is unusual in the presses because normally the press comes with two drawers and the pallet. But as you see here, the drawers can be used in any capacity. What we do basically set up the pallet feeder with the same stock in one of the drawers. That leaves us three other drawers to use for other jobs we can change on the fly. In this particular case, what we've done, the pallet and the first drawer here work together to keep it so that the press never stops. Basically, we have an unlimited lift of paper. The machine can keep going. As soon as the pallet runs out, it switches here. While we're reloading the pallet, the press never stops, just continues printing the whole time. And Tim, uh, we saw this page gripper rotor. That sounds pretty cool. What does it do and how does it, I guess, improve quality and uh, registration sheet to sheet? So this is our board kind of showing all of the 100K to 120K changes. So these are all the new functions that we've changed over in this press from the manufacturing side. And that particular system here, what we call the page gripper rotor, the sheet goes into that unit. It's a swing arm gripper for a standard offset press. We use it for the speed of the 120K to keep up with the speed of the press. It's a unit that grabs the sheet, rotates it around to the surface of the impression cylinder. The impression cylinder takes it to the next unit and continues on through the process. So when we looked at the specs here, and Tim was saying uncoated stock 70 to 40, 400, sorry, GSM, 
Uh, does it have issues moving from such a low grammage to the high grammage or how do you get tackled that? No, the beauty of the Indigo process is that we don't have to slow down or change or calibrate anything in between substrates. So I could go literally from the 70 GSM level all the way up to the 400 GSM level, one sheet after another. I could go back and forth because the press ca um, calibrates and changes on the fly uh, in terms of the caliper between those sheets. So nothing has to change as far as temperature or pressure or other things. It literally adjusts that gap on the fly without issue. Wonderful. And the last question for Tim, because he's been an amazing world of knowledge, you must say. Uh, the robot you talked about at the, uh, the stacker, can that actually feed the press as well, Tim? So, the sorry, robot, so, can it feed the oh, press? Oh, absolutely. So the Movigio robots, they can actually put paper in the press, and they can take paper out of the press. Now, we haven't quite figured out how to get a Movigio to put paper in the drawer, <laughs> But it is pretty good otherwise, putting the paper in the pallet at the back of the machine. Wonderful work. Well, Tim, you've been an amazing, amazing uh, wealth of knowledge. You've been fantastic support here at Drupal 2024. And we look forward to installing many HP Indigo 120 presses in the Australian New Zealand market. And a lot of that is to the thanks of you, the way you've helped educate our customers. Thanks, Tim. And a big hi to my buddy Marcus Cafola out there. I know you're out there. He is. Good on you, mate. Bye.